Julia. I'm good. How are you? Good. Yeah. I uh, had a bit of an embarrassing moment. I didn't notice you had a, like a webcam up there, uh -huh. and I was dancing in the mirror, and then it, I looked up and it said, "Smile, it's Ellen's webcam." I was uh, like, "Uh, uh oopsies." Yeah. Well, <laughs> kind of embarrassing. Does that go right away on? It'll be on the website. Yes. Good. Good. Yep. Good. Because I was like, "Did this one of these?" Uh -huh. And then I tried to pretend like I knew all along, and I was like, "Dang it! <laughs> I know this is on the air uh, right now." Yeah. No, we weren't watching okay. it here, but we will watch it soon. Good. Good. We'll, we'll try to actually bring it up by the time that we're right. finished. Can't talking. wait. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait too. Cause I didn't know that that you would be dancing back there. Yeah, I was checking myself out till I was doing these. I was uh -huh. like working out, I was doing poses, and I started, I was like, oh yeah, I like this song. And then uh -huh. I looked up, I was like, hi, uh -huh. I'm Jeff Cam. <laughs> That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're Good. supposed to be. Now, I saw you last week at Idol, and you were a mentor for all yeah. those kids. Was that easy? Was it hard to, to work with them? It was a little bit hard because, you know, the, the talent isn't the problem. Uh, you know, they're all talented, otherwise mm -hmm. they wouldn't be on the show, but it's just, Finding those little things, but without being too harsh, because there's things that like I'm, I'm like, okay, the talent is just some of it is almost like the personality or just connecting and then knowing who you are. I felt like some of them, when I asked, you know, what kind of style of music, and then I heard their song choice, I was like, oh, really? I didn't get that from that. So it was just trying to, you know, know who you are. Right. What do you think the best advice you can give somebody is? I mean, what have you learned? Because you've been doing this a while now and you're so successful. What, what would you say to them? Well, I think people in my life have seen a dramatic change of who I am and how I've gotten to know myself more and more. When I had my first record, I was 12 years old. So no one, I don't think, really knows who they are at that point. So, I mean, just growing up in this business and I've gotten to know myself better and better and I'm still getting to know myself. So I would almost just tell someone, make sure you really know who you are before you start going into an industry because the hard thing is if you're not strong, they'll make you who they want you to be. Exactly. And you won't grow up to who you're supposed to be. Right. So that's hard. It's like that pink video. She was trying, they were trying to make her a pop star and yeah. she didn't want to be a pop star. Want to be star. a rock star. Right. So there's right. just, I think certain things that people saying, yeah, I want to be a pop rock singer. I want to be R&B. It's like, okay, well know that 100% before you make your first record or do this and that. Luckily right. I had, you know, people that would help guide me and I, right. I followed that lead. Yeah, you've had some good leaders because you're doing just fine. Thank you. You're doing just fine. Well, thank you, Ellen. Yes, yeah. You're my number one leader. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, really, that's incredible. Now, speaking of leaders and followers, when you, you had a huge following on Twitter, and then all of a sudden you decided to shut it down, and it was news. Like, people freaked out that you shut down your Twitter account. Yeah, people still are freaking out. Uh, Twitter is an interesting concept to me, because one, I'm always hearing people being like, you know, it's really hard, I don't have a private life, and then I'm like, okay, well... You didn't have to tell everyone you were doing your nails at this moment or you're at the grocery store. You chose to tell people that. Right. So I felt like I was one of those people who was like, I'm never private. Mom, I hate this. I want to go home. I'm not private. And then I'm like, okay, every five minutes I'm telling people what I'm doing. And then I would complain about privacy. So I think it's just about if that's what you want, fine, or just choose what you say wisely. Yeah, it's tricky. Well, I heard that when you, uh, one of the reasons you shut down your Twitter account is that you were outspoken supporting gay marriage and you got a lot of hate mail. All of a sudden people started saying very threatening things to you. Yeah, you know what, I think people, um, I, I don't know, it's, that was something that I was asked a question. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like I was trying to force my opinion on anyone else. Right. I was asked the question, Miley, what do you think? And I said, I believe that there's no other judge but God. I'm not one to tell someone that they can't love someone else when mm -hmm. I'm happily in love with someone. I would never want to be the person to take that away. So that's what I, I believed, and then I got people hating me for believing in love. And that seems very interesting that someone could be hated because you want someone else to love another person. It right. just seems very twisted to me. So I was just like, you know, I, I, I guess it's better to keep your opinions to yourself, but I I'm never regret what I say, I guess, when I speak my opinion, because if I'm asked, I will tell you. I'm not one to be like, um, I don't know, because I want to please everyone, and you yeah. can't please everyone. And I'm sure what I'm saying now won't please everybody, but that's what I think, and that's what I feel. I think it's important to share your opinion. Always. That's good. Especially you, you know? Yeah. People listen, so. All right. Now, are, are you, uh, are you ending Hannah Montana? Is that right? This is our last season that we're filming right now. We've got seven more episodes, but we've done it in a way where it'll go on till an, at least another year all over the world. Hannah Montana will uh -huh. still be on the air. So we just did the season finale of season three, and now we're finishing up season four. So it's not completely over yet. Are you, uh... Well, you shouldn't say relieved, but I mean, are you happy to move on now? Is it enough? Yeah, it's bittersweet um, because it's such a security blanket for me. It's so comfortable because after I go off and do something that, you know, I do 80 shows on tour, I go do a film or whatever, I'm like, oh, I gotta go back to Hannah Montana. It's easy for me. It's like a rhythm that I know really well. Mm -hmm. And then I'm not gonna have that easy thing to go back to. And um, 
it's interesting. It's almost kind of like a vacation sometimes because mm -hmm. I go there, I know it so well, it's so easy for right. me now. Not having that makes me a little worried. Right. Well, I know people are going to miss it, but you have so many different things going on. So yes. it's not like we're going to miss you because no. you're going to be. And they'll rerun out. it till yeah. the yes, end of me, yeah, I yeah. promise. Yeah. <laughs> did you and Liam get together during the movie or like did you know right away when you met him that this is my boyfriend? Um, no, I was actually, um, I was kind of going through like a tough time. I was like, Guys, I just need to be out of my life for a little while. I just need to be like alone and just whatever. Oh, I know. Tell oh, me about I it. know, Ellen. Oh. It's, it gets tough. Yeah. Um, uh, and um, I was just like, I'm not, I'm not in, like into anyone. I just kind of want to focus on my work. Yeah. And um, I do that. I tend to hide behind my work sometimes when other things. But then I met him and he opened the door for me. And I was like, I've been in LA three years, and I don't think any guy has actually opened the door for me without. Like, he, it wasn't that he won the job, it was just because that's who he is. Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, that's, like, super impressive. I actually turned to the director and said, he's got the job. He's hot, and he opened the door. <laughs> Excellent. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was stoked. But then we just started filming, and at one point, honestly, the chemistry was kind of off. We were both, I think I liked him a little bit, and he liked me a little bit, but it was awkward. And then I was like, okay, just fake it. I was like, please just pretend you like me. And he was like, I don't have to pretend I really do like you. So then I was like... Okay. <laughs> I was like, you're my boyfriend, kill. Uh -huh. So um, it was it was good, and we've been together like 10 months now, and I'm really happy, and I like him more now than I did then because we know more about each other. That's fantastic, and you're always out on bikes together. There's pictures yeah. of you riding bikes everywhere, and I oh thought... Oh, my gosh, is he going to be mad? Is that the... Why? Yep, that's, he's on my bike. It's pink with flowers. Oh. He's like, he's going to be on the cover of everything. That one's the, the black bike, and then right. right up top, that's my flowery bike with the basket that I usually put my little Yorkie in. Right. And uh, he was so angry because the other bike had a flat tire, uh -huh. and I was like, just ride mine. No one's going to take your picture. And then we went to go get smoothies, and he's like, I hate you. I hate yeah. you right now. I am not. I'm not happy. I was like, sorry. He's like, train me. I'm like, mine's purple. What's the difference? Yeah. So it was pretty funny. Well, we want to make sure that he, he's never embarrassed again. So we got you bikes that, that uh, you can ride, and you're going to also help me out at the same yeah. time. Come on over. License plates on oh the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, you want to be really right. funny? I was actually going to go tomorrow because he gets home from New York. He's doing press. I was going to buy him a bike, and now I don't have to. Now I'm you so don't. 